Time for your forecast now with Camilla Ortiz. And Camilla, I'm enjoying this kind of mild 50-ish yeah. degree weather. It's kind of refreshing when it, you go outside. It is. It's nice after, you know, the last week plus that we had of crazy weather stuff. Winds so, and freezing yeah. temperatures let's, and all that. Let's leave that behind us in let's 2022. Do what do you think? I think so, yeah. <laughs> all right. Uh, by the way, this is my favorite time of the day. I love dusk. It's so beautiful. Doesn't it look stunning out there in Newport right now? This is our Discover Newport camera. Just looks so dramatic as we kind of lose the last bits of daylight there looking over Yaquina Bay. Let's take a look at today's high temperatures. It was a warmer than average day for most of us here in the valleys we saw high temperatures hit the low 50s so average high for the day in portland is uh, 46 also saw low 50s out along the coast we can head to uh, central and eastern oregon here to look at those high temperatures low to mid 40s for bend and redmond pendleton hit 50 today also a nice mild day in the dalles mid 50s there so what's next? Looking ahead to 2023, a more dry than wet weekend, mostly dry, actually all dry tomorrow. Next week, we will see rain at times as we have a series of weak Pacific weather systems that will push their way through the region, but no sign of any bitter cold or any crazy snow or freezing rain event through the first week of January. We will be watching mid to late week a little bit more closely. It's possible that some of those systems are going to bring a gustier east wind with it, which could cool some things down uh, in the gorge, for example, and uh, cause the opportunity for some wintry mix there. But we'll get into that maybe early next week as we get a little closer. Uh, as far as tomorrow morning goes, I think we're going to see some low clouds and fog pooling here in that I-5 corridor, but it's going to be dry. Our graph model here is wanting to clear us out pretty quickly. In fact, you can see mostly sunny conditions here around the metro area by 3 o'clock in the afternoon, and I do think that east wind coming through the gorge will help at least the east side a little bit but we'll see it's possible those clouds linger for a little bit longer and if that's the case uh, we might not hit the mid 40s tomorrow we'll see uh, then we look ahead to next week here so this is monday seeing a few more clouds you can see precipitation off the coast here uh, it's going to hit the south valley first so areas around eugene maybe salem could start to see that rain pushing through early afternoon or around midday We'll see the chance for uh, showers here in the Portland Metro later in the afternoon, maybe early evening, and through the night we'll have additional chances for uh, some showers. It looks like those spotty showers will continue actually through Tuesday morning, but the rest of Tuesday looks mainly dry. All right, ooh, our big countdown, New Year's graphic, kind of cool. Uh, here's your New Year's Day. A nice one for you as we kick off 2023. Just starting a little foggy and cloudy, very mild temperatures, likely in the upper 30s in the morning. And then in the afternoon, we'll see how many sun breaks we get, but we should be topping out somewhere in the low to mid 40s, and it'll be a dry night beyond that. Here's your seven day forecast. So we get to Monday. I showed you those uh, afternoon or evening showers might get a little breezier. Tuesday looks mainly dry. And then Wednesday and Thursday, that's those are the days I mentioned we'll be keeping a close eye on. But for us here in the valleys, it's just going to be showers at times, a little bit breezier those two days. And then we get to Friday and Saturday, intermittent showers, uh, and we might be turning a little bit rainier there on Saturday. But nothing of note here. Our temperature is very typical for this time of year, staying in the 40s, and our overnight lows will be in the mid to upper 30s. Wayne? Sounds good. Thank you so much. U.S.